A reading from the letter of James, chapter 2, verse 14 to 24 and 26. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body. What good is it? Also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, You have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe that and tremble. Do you want proof, you ignoramus, that faith without works is useless? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered his son Isaac upon the altar? You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by the works. Thus the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called the friend of God. See how a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. For just as the body without a spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, verses 34, chapter 9, verses 1. Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What could one give in exchange for his life? Whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, in this faithless and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. He also said to them, Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come in power. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my dear children and my dear young generation. Today, Friday, 18th of February, 2022, the gospel for our reflection is from Mark chapter 8, verses 34 to chapter 9, verse 1. So we are practically concluding the whole chapter, chapter 8 of Mark which has so many lessons for our life. Gradual development of one feeding us with the multiplication of bread and leading us to question ourselves as well in the mouth of Peter, who Jesus is. The question that Jesus posed yesterday, who I am. Now today Jesus says, if you understand me, if you know me, then you have to make an option in life. You ought to understand the whole mission that I have come down on earth to execute. Peter thought Jesus should be the Christ victorious, a Christ militant, a Christ king, a, a militant king who defeats, not someone who suffers and dies for the salvation. But today, Jesus tells us the same. He reveals to us the same inner core of the vocation of our Christian faith. 
Jesus says, if you want to follow me, if you want to be like me, if you want to come after me, if you want to embrace me, then forget yourself. You cannot think of yourself and think of me, Christ Jesus. You have to forget yourself. You have to be emptied. You have to empty yourself. You have to think only of God and the other, not of yourself. Then he says the second point, you carry your own cross, take up your own cross, take up the challenges of the day, take up the challenges and the sufferings of the day. Don't be frightened by the challenges, the sufferings, the persecutions, the difficulties that we all are in a way led and perhaps we are compelled to face in our life. Therefore, Jesus says, and those who try to secure life, so those who try to protect your life, while you want to live your faith, you are going to lose your life. Because if you are worried about your life, at the same time that you want to profess your faith in Jesus, you are going to lose your life. And therefore, Jesus says, if you are ready to accept me, then I am ready to accept you. If you disown me, I have to disown you. Take up your cross, forget yourself, and follow me for the salvation of your soul.